person you breathe. Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Forutech. So after using nothing was open beta 1.5.1 now it's time to check out the new custom ROM called as Superior OS by the amazing developer and maintainer Optimus Prime. He is now maintaining the two different ROMs one is Rise Droid and another one is Superior OS. The build we are testing in this video is of 20th January 2023. Actually there was another build available on the 2nd of February which has minor change log. Flashing of this ROM is same as old video still we will quickly show you how to flash this ROM. You need to download these files boot, vendor boot, DTBO and full ROM zip file. Place them on the desktop or inside the platform tools of your PC. Your device bootloader must be unlocked. You can check the iCard video how to do that. USB debugging must be enabled. Power off the device, boot it into the fast boot mode using the volume down plus power button. Connect phone to the PC, open command prompt in the same folder where you place all the files. Now flash the boot image, then flash the vendor boot image, then flash the DTBO. Now using the volume keys and power button, boot your phone into the recovery. In the superior OS recovery, tap apply update and select ADB side load. Now in the CMD type ADB side load and drag the full ROM zip file and hit enter. Flashing will start in the CMD, at 47% it will get stuck. But after few minutes you will get the 1x4 notifications means flashing is done. In the recovery now tap back arrow key, select factory set, tap format data and reboot to the system. Today in this video we will check out what's new gets in this new ROM, how its performance and stability, what's working, new features in the ROM and finally I discuss some bugs with my final verdict. So watch the video till the end, now without further ado, let's get started. The new adventure. Phone started to boot into the new boot animation of Superior OS. After completing the setup, phone booted to the stock Superior launcher. We didn't get the pixel launcher here. Now let's jump to the about phone to check the details of this new custom ROM. In the about phone at the top, we guess the device currently running wallpaper image with all the basic details of the device. If you tap on the Android version, it will show you this is the Superior OS version 13 with the same matter you clock register egg of Android 13. Security patches of January 2023. ROM comes with the Primus kernel 5.4.210, build it with the latest Clang tool chain 10.0.6. Kernel is enforcing, so everything is up to date in this new custom ROM. As this is the first review of the ROM, I will show you what's working, so you can't miss anything that you want. I tested the WAFA, WAFA hotspot, they are working fine. ROM supports the VOLT calling, it also has the 5G network support with the WAFA calling working. I tested it for the Airtel SIM, I don't know it's working for the other SIMs or not. NFC, GPS location, both are working fine. Bluetooth is working with the HD Auto codec supports like the LDAC, SBC and APTX. Haptic feedback is superb, better than the stock nothing OS. We guess the Glyph interface setting and most of the things are working here like the Glyph brightness setting. Flip to Glyph toggle added and it's working. Call animation toggle is available, so we guess the only this clip animation during the incoming calls. There are no any different clip ringtones like the stock nothing OS. Charging meter indicator is available and it's working. There is a continuous clip flight quick setting toggle available. We have to add it manually by using the edit option for the quick setting panel. But still there are some bugs available in the clip flight that we will see under the bug section, so stay tuned until the end of the video. Fingerprint and face unlock are working and they are blazing fast with the enough accuracy. Later I did all the sensor tests like the light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope, etc. All are working fine. Other important things like the ear proximity, microphone, ear speakers, loudspeaker, screen multitouch, display. This thing seems okay but still user reported some issues for the microphone that we will check out in the bug section. Google Photos unlimited photo backup is working. OK Google Voice activation is working both for the screen on and screen off mode. Now comes the most important part safety net. 
Prom is passing the safety net, so no worry about the banking and secure applications to run on this custom ROM. Device storage is encrypted, so no worry about the personal data stealing on the locker devices. Let's check out the camera. ROM has the nothing phone one camera. It's fully working, still it has some bugs. Slow motion recording working. Videos recording has the stabilization and HDR mode. But there is no 4K 60fps or 30fps recording available in the setting. Camcorder light setting is still not working. It's not blinking on the back panel while recording the videos. All the three wide angle camera modes are working. Portrait mode has the issue. It's taking the picture for the both the front and back camera, but it's still not getting saved in the gallery at all. Under the more option, we get the time lapse panorama mode, macro mode, shooting expert mode. All are working very good. So most of the features are working, but some things like the portrait mode, 4K recording has issues that are present in the Google Gcam MGC build also. So we have to wait for the new next update to get fully working nothing camera. Now it's time to check the performance of this custom ROM. As usual, like other ROMs, this one is also very good, smooth, fast and fluid. Most application running on the 120Hz screen refresh rate, but still refresh rate goes to the adaptive mode, it goes down to the 60Hz sometimes. And I did not found force 120Hz setting in the developer option or anywhere in the ROM. When I ran the test, I got the score of 811 for the single core and 3021 for the multi-core. Paranoid Android has the 824 and 3015 respectively. Super OS has the both the scores results nearly same as the Paranoid Android, which is the top performing ROM till the date. Except these, both the ROMs, other ROMs has the low score. After running the test for the Vulcan Graphics API, I got the score of 2741. Pixel Plus UI custom ROM has the highest result in the Hulkan Graphics API about 2800. Other custom ROMs barely got results about 2500. In the overall comparison, ROM has the highly optimized Prima scanner, which is giving very good numerical and real life performance to this device. Next, I tested the CPU performance stability using the CPU throttling. I ran the test at the 20 threads for the 6 minute. Till the 5 minutes, everything seems okay, but suddenly after 5 minutes, all the yellow lines started in the graph. When I stopped the test, I got the score of 73%. Temperature of device during the test risen between 42 to 47 degrees Celsius. To reconfirm the results, I cooled down the device and ran the test once more again. After 5 minutes, performance graph seems to going down, so immediately I stopped the test and I got the score of 87%. Still, this score is lower as compared to the other custom ROMs. So definitely slight drop has been seen in the CPU throttling results as compared to the other custom ROM where I always got the score above 90%. Now it's time to show you some useful and the unique customizations this ROM offers. Unlike a paranoid Android though this ROM has the good score similar to the AOSP ROM, still it offers the best customization under the superior lab option under the main setting of the phone. Under this option all the customizations are well arranged in the different tabs. So we will get all the common customization features under some tabs like the status bar, quick setting panel. So I will not waste the time to show them here again. Under the buttons option, we get the volume rocker wake up and volume rocker playback control. But only volume rocker playback control is working. Here we can skip the music tracks by long pressing the volume buttons when the screen is off or in the AOD mode. Volume rocker wake up feature is not working. Under the gesture setting, we get the all the gestures available in the ROM like quickly open camera one and it more etc along with the double tap to wake the phone single tap wake up setting is available we have to just tap the single time on the aod or on the off screen mode to wake the device under the lost screen customization who gets the music pulse animation on the lost screen always on display and on the now bar and it's working flawlessly it has different tunables added for the pulse media cover art setting is available but it's not blurring the media background on the lost screen who gets the lots of the icons and the animation for the under display fingerprint in the lock screen setting. As this is the official build, who gets the OT under the system setting. We got the new update on the 2nd of the February but still it's not showing in the OTA. Maybe it will be gradually available for the all. Except these other things are old and we will already seen that in the old videos, some features are available in the superior launcher home setting. Here we get the double tap to sleep on the home screen wallpaper zooming and scrolling, advanced at a glance feature, etc. Under the recent tab, we get the toggles to enable the screenshot, RAM memory, clear all, etc. We can change the recent background opacity using the opacity slider. 
In the app drawer, there is a superior ROM exclusive wallpaper application which has the bunch of the different good looking material UV wallpapers which we already applied on the home screen while shooting the video. We also get the game space app in the app drawer which has the bunch of the setting to make your gaming experience more pleasant by reducing the game interference. We get the small overlay of game space for the selected applications where we can change the games mode for the balance, battery saving and the performance modes. Who gets the quick switch tab for the FPS overlay, lock gesture, heads up, screen stay awake, etc. So these are all the customization we've seen. Now it's time to show you the most important part that is bugs and issues. As usual like other custom ROM, this one also has the void one as a L3. So we can't stream the Netflix and the Amazon Prime at the full HD solution. I again and again mentioning this for the every ROM because newcomers didn't know about this. So I have to mention this issue every time. Next some bugs are for the Glyph light. Though we guess the flip to Glyph it working but sometime it's getting stuck at some animation. It's not smooth like the paranoid android. Glyph light for the notification is not working. I tried to check it with the different notifications but it's not blinking. ROM didn't have the working call recording feature. It's available but it's not accessible. Another issue some users reported regarding the mic issue while calling means they are getting the low sound while they talks with the other people on the call. But the mic test had already successfully passed in the test segment of the video. I personally felt sometimes it working without the issue for some calls and not for the others. Other issues like the portrait mode for the camera, no media cover art, no volume rocker wake up are already been discussed while reviewing the ROM. Except these nothing serious I found. Remember a developer claimed that some glyph bugs and the mic issue has been fixed in the 2nd February build. As I reviewed the build of 20th January, I can't guarantee they are fixed or not. So join the telegram group given under the video description to know more about the issues. Once these bugs get fixed completely, I can say this ROM will be one of the top performing and customizable ROM for the nothing phone one. So I definitely recommend you to try this build and support the development of Optimus Prime. If this video helped you then please do like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye. New